hello friend welcome to my youtube channel mechanical design atta so in this video we will discuss the biodegradable plastics so why it is important and how the biodegradable plastics save the environment from the uh, soil pollution and the uh, water pollution so uh, uh, and how the biodegradable plastics are different from the conventional plastic so if you are new here please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated videos from mechanical design and done. So what are the biodegradable plastics? So what does mean? So actually uh, the uh, issue with the plastic material is that they don't degrade after the some time. Okay. So if you see the traditional material plastic material, so it will uh, they will create the uh, soil pollution and the water pollution and the lifespan of the uh, plastic material is huge like they uh, survive in the water and the soil uh, thousands of year so it is uh, very uh, risky for the uh, water life and the uh, uh, for the animal also and for the human also as they are creating the pollution Okay, so uh, to collect this uh, all the waste, it is uh, very difficult for the human life also. So it is uh, very important uh, to have the material like uh, uh, they can degrade after the few months or the few year. So for that, the concept is a biodegradable plastic. So these biodegradable plastics are uh, degraded in the few months or in the uh, few years. Okay, so the working principle of this uh, uh, biodegradable plastics are like, uh, so this is a biodegradable plastics uh, bottle and so once it is comes with uh, uh, it, so it generally uh, degrade because of the, it contain, I mean, it will create the microorganism uh, and the microorganism like a bacteria, fungi and the alike uh, 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 are uh, these are the types of uh, microorganism and they consume the plastics material and uh, it will start the degradation so you can see the uh, the bottle is after the uh, some times okay so few months or after the years so they will degrade it slowly slowly and it will be completely degrade so this is the concept of the biodegradable plastics material so these biodegradable plastics are generally uh, derived from the natural source like uh, uh, biomass source like uh, this one is a corn so you can see the corn and after that from the corn we get the lactic acid and from the lactic acid uh, from the polymerization process we'll get the polylactic acid material and this polylactic, uh, polylactic acid material we use in the molding process and we'll get the plastic product biodegradable plastic product and this biodegradable plastic product once we use it will degrade and we can use that degrade material as a uh, compost also to raise the uh, crops so there are two types of uh, biodegradable plastics uh, one is a bio based uh, biodegradable plastics and second one is the petrol based uh, biodegradable plastics so in the bio based uh, uh, biodegradable plastics we have the polylactic acid like uh, we generally call it as a pla so it is uh, derived from the renewable sources like uh, corn starch or sugarcane and it is used in the like uh, different uh, areas like in the packaging disposal uh, tableware material uh, in medical implants so in that uh, this material is used and the polyhydroxyalkanoids PHA it is produced by the bacterial fermentation of sugar and the liquid so PHA are used in the packaging agriculture flame and the medical devices second one is the petroleum based biodegradable plastic so this plastic uh, biodegradable plastics are uh, uh, derived from the petroleum based product like a uh, uh, polybutylene uh, succinate generally we call it as a PBS so it is a petroleum derived biodegradable plastics used in the packaging agricultural film and the disposal atoms so you can see here the applications and next one is the poly uh, caprolactone so 
PCL. It is a synthetic biodegradable uh, polyester uh, used in the medical devices, drugs delivery systems, and the packaging. So the factor affecting the biodegradation. So generally, the uh, degradation rate it depends on the environmental condition and the plastic composition so in the environmental conditions uh, like a temperature moisture and the oxygen availability so it increase so this three factor actually increases the uh, degradation possibilities and in regarding the plastic composition so the chemical structure and the molecular weight of the plastics affect the biodegradability and the additives and the uh, fillers uh, these two components can also influence the rate of degradation okay and applications so we have seen like a, a biodegradable plastic is generally used in the packaging agriculture and the medical and the consumer goods so the advantage of the uh, biodegradable plastics are like a, it reduces the uh, plastic pollution in the environment and uh, the uh, it uh, reduces the dependence on the fossil fuel by using the renewable sources so it saves the energy and uh, uh, it is compatible that biodegradable plastics are compatible with the uh, composting also so these are the advantage of the biodegradable plastics and the disadvantage like uh, the degradation condition so the degradation of the plastics actually it depends uh, on the condition the environmental conditions okay and the composition of the uh, biodegradable plastics so uh, so that composition and the environmental condition uh, decide the uh, when it will be means uh, degrade the plastic material so generally it will take the few months or the few year but few uh, biodegradable plastics are last longer and it will take the time for the degradation so and related with the cost so the uh, biodegradable plastics are uh, more expensive to produce than the traditional plastics and related with the performance so the some plastics uh, biodegradable plastics uh, have the lower mechanical strength and the shorter shelf lives compared to the uh, conventional plastics and the contamination issue always with the plastics material so the improper disposal and the mixing with the non degradable plastic material can uh, increase the recycling efforts and increase the contaminations so in the next video we will discuss the nano plastics so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching see you in the next video